Welcome, Coach Mercy. sprints for me right now. Okay? Fact. If you sit in the middle of your classroom in the first few rows, you do better. I mean, I, I was a teacher. I was an educator. That's what I do now as a coach. But those are the things that we continue to teach our young people. And so we do. We check on their classes. And we just have to look in the first three rows. And if it's more in the middle, not on the side, if you're in the back, you start nosing off, start looking at different things. I know there's not enough room in here for everybody to have a front row seat, but it is statistically known for that. So, again, I'm up here talking about women's college basketball, but I'm also about talking about teaching and educating, okay, because that is what I do. Uh, Jim had mentioned, and I, I really was uh, excited to do this, I speak in a lot of different places, uh, whether it's Boeing Engineering, whether it's Rotary, whether it's the Coaches versus Cancer last night, whether whatever it may be, because I have a passion to give back to young people. I was very, very fortunate to have a lot of great people around me to be able to get where I am today. And a lot of people don't remember those people. So teachers, parents, uh, a couple good friends, uh, your siblings, people that are going to impact your world, that's who I thank. It's not about me. It's about everybody that surrounded me. And I was a teacher in high school. Um, I played at Purdue in the 80s, back in the day, where you had the short, short, really short shorts, like bun hunters type of thing. <laughs> Um, scary. Uh, Farrah Fawcett hairdos, which you guys don't know about, the mullets, the crazy stuff, and all of a sudden I've seen in 20 to 25 years how women opportunities have just continued to grow and mature. We have, still have a ways to go. Uh, I'm so impressed by all the career women back here that are doing specific careers that people don't think you can do. And one thing Jim mentioned to you, and I try to teach our student athletes this, when they graduate, you know, when they're like, Coach, well, I can make this much money, or I can make this much money. I'm like, it's not about the money. Okay? You think it is because you're young, or what is it? You see dollar signs, and everything costs a lot, and you're so excited. But it's about the passion in your heart. You can make $100,000 and do a job you hate getting up every single day to go to. You don't like the people that you work with. You don't have a passion for it. You go through the motions, and you're not having that life experience of an amazing journey for yourself to develop as a young lady. Okay, so I say take the job that gives you great benefits that you have a passion for. Now it's up to them what they choose. But what I'm going to talk about today is what really women's basketball, what I do and what I have to deal with, and then some of our student athletes, the opportunities now for women um, overseas to play ball, uh, do a lot of different things. So, um, you know, it's in the 80s, when I came at Purdue and, and played, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I wanted to be a nurse. I couldn't be a nurse and play basketball. Okay, so I'm like, all right, well, then I'm going to get into radio and TV commentating. Well, that wasn't really a field that anyone could get into, and I knew someone that uh, pretty, Digger Phelps, who was a Notre Dame basketball coach, his uh, daughter wanted to get into that field, and she couldn't get into that field, because back in the 80s, you had to know somebody. And if I knew Karen Phelps couldn't get into the field of radio and TV broadcasting, I knew that there's no chance for me at the time because that's how it was in the 80s. Now you're looking on TV, you're seeing women everywhere. ABC News, NBC, CNN, you see, you see them in your local news. Those things have continued to transpire. But when I went to school, they said, no, I couldn't do this, I couldn't do this. So I became an educator, which was great for me. And I had a passion because, like Jim, I want to give back to young people, and I want a job that deals with young people. All right? Well, now, my players on our team are engineers, veterinarians, going to be doctors, physical therapists, all right, psychologists. All right? They can do anything they want. 
But at one time in education, they said you cannot do this and be a women's basketball player. So a lot of us had to get those hurdles. And most of it was men-dominated academic professors, not fighting for the women, that you can do both. You can balance both. So now we have engineers, and we have a lot of doctors right now, and because they were not going to accept no. So what I want you to do, has anybody in here told you you could not do something? You can't do that. If someone said that to you, stand up. Someone told you you could not do something. Change. And I wanted to get into college coaching. Okay? And I sacrificed. 